Welcome ladies and gents, my name is Rick Kirsty. We just got the reveal trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 earlier today. I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different than what I usually do for videos. I wanted to kind of look at the trailer, take in a lot of things, and just kind of pick out things that I've noticed about the trailer, because let's be honest, I am a big Call of Duty fan. I really liked Advanced Warfare, hated Coast, but the last one that I really liked before that was Black Ops 2, and I really liked Treyarch's games uh, their iteration of Call of Duty games, uh, with the exception of uh, World at War, uh, really wasn't a huge fan of that one. But that being said, I really liked Black Ops 1, I really loved Black Ops 2. I think they need to fix multiplayer, but for the story element, they really kind of nailed it. I think it's the best Call of Duty story uh, mode in any of the Call of Duty games. So I'm really excited for Black Ops 3. I was A lot of people were actually expecting the next Treyarch game to be World at War 2. I was secretly hoping for Black Ops 3, and I'm glad that we're getting it. And I'm really, like, from the reveal trailers, they seem like they're going much darker with the tone. Uh, they're definitely touching on the whole, okay, technology versus soldiers. Like, what happens when we incorporate too much technology within ourselves? That's really what this trailer is kind of focusing on. I mean, they, the, the first lines of the, you know what? I'm going to go through, I took a couple of screenshots, I'm going to go over those screenshots to point out a couple of things that I noticed, and uh, we'll go from there and we'll talk about some of the dialogue. So, here's the first one that I really took, you have these two soldiers, they're climbing into this truck. The reason why I took this picture is mainly because of the fact that you have this sort of rocket gun on the side of the vehicle, which I thought was actually really cool. You get like a whole lot of drone action in the background. You get like this building with the bridge there. It looks like this place has been pretty war torn. But you notice that this soldier that is on the truck, his left arm actually looks like a cybernetic arm. And you're, we're going to see this a lot. But I wanted to take the picture mainly because of the big rocket on the truck. I don't think this is going to be a multiplayer. This is all single player stuff. That's usually the way Activision kind of reveals their Call of Duties is that they'll tease it a little bit and then they'll reveal some of the story elements. And then like later after E3, we're talking later, they'll start revealing more about the multiplayer. So let's go on to the next picture we have right here. This is, there's really only one reason why I took this picture here. It's because in the background along the wall, you look like you see like these sort of giant guns. Now, I kind of want to point out the time difference between the second Black Ops game and this Black Ops game, because the second Black Ops game takes place in 2025. They touched on a lot of very futuristic stuff. Now, this game, it's actually 2065. So this is 40 years later. Technology has advanced. Now, one of the big questions that I've always kind of wondered, and I never really, not really 100% sure if I ever got it confirmed, but I'm just kind of assuming all of the Call of Duty games exist in the same universe. Ghosts happen, like, the reason why I'm saying I'm not really sure is because of Ghosts. Ghosts kind of leveled a lot of cities with its story, and that kind of happened somewhat modern time, and all these games really never touch on it. So, that being said, Advanced Warfare being a game that really introduced the most technologically, I mean, like, that's like, this game is actually taking place a little over 10 years after Advanced Warfare, so technology is going to be somewhat close to things we've seen in Advanced Warfare. I just wanted to point out those giant guns uh, on the uh, on the wall there, so we'll go on to the next picture here. Again, very war-torn. It's actually the same scene that we've seen earlier. You have those two guys, you have that truck. I wanted to really point out just the damage in this scene and also the drones, because drones was actually a big part of Black Ops 2, so it would make sense if they actually pop back up again. At least I'm thinking they're drones. They look like drones. They very much could be just like player, or not player controlled, but human controlled vehicles. So I'm going to go with drones because that sounds cooler. All right, so this next picture here is actually a shot of a guy's leg. You're starting to see a little bit more of the cybernetics. These people, and we kind of seen it with the reveal, tra not the reveal trailer, but the teaser trailer, where a lot of these guys, they don't have limbs. They don't. They just have robot legs and robot arms. Some of them have robot eyes. Uh, so this is a cool looking shot of the back of somebody's leg. Looks like it's cybernetic. Uh, this next shot right here is a close up of a person's arm. We're going to get a much better shot of the way the cybernetic arms look. But this is actually our first elbow shot. Uh, this right here is actually a much better look of the kind of cybernetic arm. Uh, this guy's kind of flipping around the knife. So we know that these hands are actually very, it's not like, slow robotic stuff it's actually very agile we've seen robotic hands before in call of duty games uh advanced warfare had a robotic arm but it was a little twitchy so i'm assuming that they've kind of gotten past all that and they've gotten to because because pretty much every every human we see in this game is going to have a cybernetic something so mostly it's going to be an arm most of them have arms so right here in this scene we see an underwater scene 
Uh, not something that we have never seen before in a Call of Duty game, but I just wanted to point it out. And this guy actually firing weapons. So action going to happen in the water. It's something that we've seen with Call of Duty Ghosts, but it looks like... I, I just wanted to point it out. Not really all that big. This is an awesome shot right here. I wish I could actually play you the scene, but I'm only going to use still pictures here. So I'm going to go... Here's... This is the guy's arm, and it just morphs into that. Like, it, the guy's a transformer. That's what I'm gathering from this. That is awesome. And I really hope that we see this in the multiplayer. Uh, obviously, it's going to be in the single player because that's what this trailer is kind of showing off. Uh, that is awesome. I, I went nuts when I saw that. That looks really cool. All right, so this scene right here is the shot that I was actually talking about earlier where you see a much better angle of the arm. It's, it's just a shot of the cybernetic arm fully extended. This light actually in the middle kind of travels through the arm. So it seems like, and in the last shot, we kind of talked about it a little bit, it looks like these arms could have some sort of power-ups to it. Maybe like if you unlock some kill streaks or little power-ups that you can get. And here's actually one of them. It looks like over here in this next shot, uh, it's kind of where the hand is. You see like a swarm of bees or maybe some sort of like little nano thingies. It looks like the if you saw it in the trailer, this this swarm is not coming from the cybernetic arm. It's actually being guided by the arm. The arm the, the swarm is already kind of there. Then the arm moves and is kind of directing the swarm to go. And you see the swarm kind of engulfing this other, you know, enemy or human or ally. I really don't know. You don't know the elements of what's going on. You just see what's happening. So that's kind of cool. Uh, here's like a little walking tank right here. Uh, this is something that we've kind of seen that was somewhat familiar in Advanced Warfare. That's why I'm saying that the technology that we see in the trailer is actually somewhat similar to things that we may see in Advanced Warfare, or may have seen in Advanced Warfare. We have seen walking tanks like this. Uh, so these guys are back in the game. Uh, I actually like this shot a lot. Uh, it's kind of blurry, which I apologize, but mainly for the person on the left there. She has a hood. I don't know why I like that shot a lot. She just seems like an assassin. Like, if the assassins from Assassin's Creed were in modern times, I figured that that's the image that I would have them. Looks really cool. I don't know. It's just a cool shot. I'm going to point out a lot of really cool shots here. Uh, this one right here, another cool shot. This guy, not so cybernetic-y. I mean, he looks like a robot, but it, he's not a robot. I, I, I don't think he's a robot. But you see in his hands and any of his legs actually just looks like clothes. The guy's wearing... If anything, the guy's got a cybernetic head, and I am willing to bet that he does not have one of those. So, just looks like another like armor set, something you may see. Could be an enemy, could be an ally. We don't actually know what's going on here. Guy in combat, I just saw it. Looks really cool. Looks like a robot. Looks like a Spartan. This is cool because this is like the first time we actually see robots, like full-on sentient, not, I don't know if it's sentient, but it's full-on robots. And this guy's actually just kind of pulled him and sh kind of shooting at him. We'll get a lot of, uh, a little bit of a clearer shot in later on in the trailer, but here you see we are going to be fighting robots. So that's also a theme that I think that the game's kind of going for is it's humans versus technology, not so much in the original, not the original, but in the second Black Ops game, what happens if we have so much technology and somebody else gains control of it? Well, now it seems like what happens if technology, I don't know if they're touching on the whole thing of what happens when technology has a mind of its own. It's, it's really, to me, the way that this trailer is coming off is that it's humans, like soldiers versus the technology. Uh, what's the difference between weapons and soldiers and that kind of thing? So these robots are going to be something that we fight in the game. Uh, so again, this is another shot, uh, just war torn. You see this sort of, uh, plane or kind of helicopter, helicarrier, hello, hello, whatever, twin jet, whatever, quin, quin jet. What I, I, I'm coming up with a couple different names, but you get the idea. This jet is falling out of the sky. A lot of combat. This is the same building that we saw very early on in the trailer. It has like, you can, you, from this angle, you can definitely see that it has been kind of seen better days. The bridge is kind of a dead giveaway. That's how I know it's the same building from earlier. You have this flag in the bottom left. It's all torn up. Smoke, things falling out of the sky. Like, there's there's some combat going on here. This is interesting shot. Because, again, I wish I could show you in motion. This guy is wall running right here. Like, the guy, the guy the person is looking at is wall running, and the guy that we're looking from the perspective of is also wall running. In other words, there is wall running in this game. Now we're getting dangerously close to Titanfall, because this game has been three years in development. Titanfall came out in 20... It came out last year. So, 2014... I'm not saying that this game is ripping Titanfall off. I'm sure it was in development before Titanfall was revealed. But still, I mean, like... It looks really similar to Titanfall. I'm not, I, I, I'm not trying to cause waves here. I love Titanfall. I really like Call of Duty. 
the wall running makes me a little like, okay, now I'm sort of scratching my head a little bit. Like, did they throw this in maybe a little bit after Titanfall got revealed? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to make waves. Something I'm pointing out. This next shot, I, again, kind of blurry, but only because I wanted to really get a shot where you can see the jetpacks. Uh, the, per the thing that we're looking at here is actually the person in midair toward the right side of the screen here. Uh, you see those two little blue things coming out of his back, which actually are, looks like jetpack. So, again, they're carrying over what they kind of, it, this is what it seems like to me. They're carrying over what they introduced with Advanced Warfare. The mobility, the navigation, the freedom to move around maps, the more verticality, double jumping, things like that, all I think is still going to be in the game. So this right here is a shot of uh, from a drone. Again, you can kind of see on the ground, you have some humans, uh, mostly robots, mostly robots. Again, those robots are coming up. This isn't the clear shot of the robots that I was actually talking about. Uh, this is actually kind of cool. I don't know if this might be a thing in the game, but this guy is actually doing what looks like a ground pounder. He's just slamming these two things down. I don't know, it was just something that I kind of wanted to point out. Uh, this right here is really cool. That's a bow. That guy is using a bow. Looks like explosive arrows, but he's using a bow. I don't, as far as I know, and please correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think that we've ever had bows in a Call of Duty game before. So, really cool when I saw that. I actually didn't, I saw the trailer earlier in the day, and then when I started taking the pictures, I watched it again. I didn't even notice that this was a bow. Until I started taking pictures, and I was like, whoa, that was cool. Actually, uh, speaking of going back, I didn't actually notice that they were actually wall running when I first saw it. So, watching it back for a second time was actually pretty cool. So, this shot right here, you have this sort of roly-poly thing going on here. Uh, again, it could be another thing like a kill streak. It, it, again, the theme of technology versus human is coming in. Now, I'm not saying that all the robots and all these like little roly-poly guys are all acting on their own. They could be. I'd be very interested to see a Call of Duty kind of cover that, but it could be human controlled. Like, there is a human threat in the background. I would be really cool if this game was all about sentient versus, uh, sentient robots, sentient AI versus humans. Uh, that'd be really cool. I would really love to see that Call of Duty game if, you know, Call of Duty kind of touches on it. Uh, this little roly poly is chasing that human and is going to actually run him down later on. Uh, this is the shot of the robot that I was actually talking about. This is the clear, this is the clearest shot of the robots that we kind of get. You see them fully extended. They're kind of big. Uh, this is not a very good scale. Like you see a person on the ground there. He's, he's not standing up. He's kind of laying down. I'm assuming we don't actually see what he's doing, but this robot kind of jumping up and that's where he kind of lands. Uh, really kind of menacing looking, but, uh, that is the clear shot of the robot that we can actually get. Uh, this shot right here, some punching action. Again, it seems like they're kind of getting rid of the exosuit, but they're still including some of the mechanics that were with the exosuit. So you see this punch happens uh, later on in the trailer. If, like I said, if I was actually showing video, you would see this guy go flying backwards. Um, it, they're, they're keeping the themes of the exosuit, but they don't have exosuits. You just have giant robot arms. All right, and then that's Black Ops 3. Uh, so <laughs> really happy... With this trailer, we also get a reveal date, November 6th, uh, this year. I mean, we get a Call of Duty game every year. I don't think that's that surprising. But November 6th, usually Call of Duty games come out in November. The trailer's not done yet. The trailer is not done. There is one more thing I have to show you, and that's that. They, they kind of leave it a little bit toward the end, little post-trailer scene, zombie ripping down some borders. Let's face it. Treyarch is the only Call of Duty developer that should be doing zombies. I have not played the Advanced Warfare version, but really I have a tremendous amount of fun when Treyarch does their zombies because, you know, they were the ones that started it. I'm really excited for it. It looks awesome. So that is the reveal trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I am super excited for it. It comes out November 6, 2015. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.